I'm going to do a quick little video here, show you what we do for number studies. So here's our number study notebook, and we keep ours, um, we bind ours with a ProClick binder. We made this cover, and we put all of Philip's number study work in here. So the very first page of our number studies book is our table of factors for each number, and um, we keep track of the, the the factors, the number of factors, whether it's odd or even, if it's prime, and whether or not the number is square. And we're going to use this as we fill it up later to pay attention to patterns and, and see what we can find on this table of factors. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Um, but I'm going to go right over here to our story of 11. And so this is the first page of our 11 study, and it goes, all of this is 11 study pages. And so the first thing that we do is we write down everything that we know about the number 11, and then we'll do some stuff. We'll look it up on the internet and find some fun facts about 11, and then we'll just, the ones that interest him, we will write them down on a page. We don't write down everything. That's annoying. So only what's interesting to him. Um, this was the intro page that we did um, when I just had him make trains and then we wrote down different statements for those trains. And then we did two car trains, so this finds the add-ends, we rewrote them in different forms. And then over here we have some missing rods. We did the three car trains with a little bit of notice and wonder on them. This section I will save and we will put this into a table later on and do some study on it because this was interesting. Um, we have here single color trains for the number 11 and then we rewrote those in different forms and then we added missing rods. Then we give these back to, to, to uh, P later on and he will fill them in. We don't put these in the notebook. We just It's just something that's up on the whiteboard and we do it in a couple minutes. Um, here we have it written as single color trains written as, as fractions. And then we have the number 11 division and we have a remainder um, as a whole number and then the remainder as a fraction. Then we compare multi compared multiplication statements, and we did a little bit of noticing and wondering. And the reason we have these are sitting here, you can look on my previous blog post, 11 is prime, so it sits in between these two numbers, and we were paying attention to how much is here and how that relates to this second digit here in the statement. And then... We have multiples of 11. This is not in the textbook, but we did it because it was interesting to Philip. And so, so it's here. And then we have his composition for the number 11. And all of this then right here is his work on the number 11. And we are not done with 11. And, and my papers wouldn't normally look like this. We wouldn't do every single one of these exercises that are possible in the book for a single number. We will do something like um, Lacey's notebooking pages, which you have here. She's got a hundred and some of them. And so we will throw in notebooking pages. We might do other things, but we don't have to use a regular workbook with specific questions that have answers to them. I'm looking for more of ways to get Philip to be able to generate the math on his own. And clearly he is capable um, at the age of seven of generating all of the math that he does. He doesn't need a workbook. And that's pretty much how we do this.